All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to take a look at the retro Marvel Legends The Lizard. Um, this is what I believe it was a Walmart exclusive? Um, pretty sure. And I gotta tell you, I hate the way this figure was released. I, I absolutely hate that. Um, this thing was such a bitch to get. Um, I, uh, so I have stories here with this. Uh, so I was just getting back into the Marvel Legends not that long ago, as you guys know. And I saw this guy, you know, showing, you know, popping up as pre orders and stuff like that on Walmart. People talk about him. Uh, I guess he's been up for pre order for a while, but. Uh, I was like, well, maybe, 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 maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'll get it. Maybe I won't. I don't know. I, I, I was having a really hard time deciding whether or not I wanted him. And then all of a sudden, people are starting to get him, and they're like, oh, man, this is great. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to get him. So I pulled it up uh, on the app. Not the Walmart app. Just, I, I guess, just Walmart.com. And found that he was in a store about 30 minutes or so from my house. So I was like, sweet. So, I hop in the car, drive down there, and he's not there. It still says he's in stock at the store, but he's not there. I uh, asked somebody for help for it, and they just said, if he's not on the shelf, then he's not here. I was like, sweet, whatever. So, I go to the car, uh, proceed to go back in, you know, go back on online. It says it's still there. Uh, it says it's available order for pickup, so I was like, cool, I'm going to order it and just pick it up in a few days, which, you know, great. There's an hour of my life, you know, because 30 minutes there, 30 minutes back. I'm not going to get back. I was like, cool, you know, whatever. So so I did that. So the day I was going to go pick him up, um, you know, get ready to go, and then I get the notice that, hey, we don't have this figure. Uh, we've canceled your order. Here's your refund. I'm like, God damn it. Uh, a few more days go by, and, and he pops up at another store. And so I hit the order button and, you know, say, hey, I'm going to be there in like an hour or whatever to pick him up. And they're like, okay, cool. Five minutes go by, they email me and say, hey, we don't have this figure. Sorry, uh, we've canceled your order. Here's your refund. I'm like, god damn it. So finally, uh, I was on the Facebook groups, and uh, somebody had it. Uh, so I spent like, um, I think it was close to like $45 on, on a $27 figure. So, which, you know, you know, shipping and all that, you know, I'm, I'm happy to pay it, but it's just, I, I'm not upset that I paid that kind of money to somebody else. And I'm upset that, you know, I've, I went to pick him up, uh, one time cause it was in stock and that I ordered him twice through Walmart and both times he got canceled. So screw you, Walmart. Um, so yeah, let's take a look at him. Um, he does come with uh, two little beakers. He's got this rounder one and this uh, more cone-shaped one. I was not very good with chemistry, <laughs> so I don't know. <laughs> I don't know these things, so you know, I apologize. Um, but yeah, um, looks pretty good. Um, nothing much to to talk about with him. Um, he does have an oh, open hand, so you can kind of balance one in his hand if you wanted to. Um, and then he's got this uh, holding hand, so you can just kind of put something in his hand. Like he's mixing chemicals, getting ready to make more of the lizard formula. I'm going to move this camera down a little bit. Alright, and then he does come with two alternate hands. Uh, so he's got the gripping hand, and then an open hand, uh, kind of like a wall crawling hand is what this is. Um, and then he's got a fist hand for the right hand. Um, he also comes with this alternate head, which I do not like the way this one looks at all. Um, now, that being said, this is the way he looked in earlier comics. So it is an accurate head and it's a very well done head. I just don't like the way it looks. If this was the head that was on this figure, like, and that was it, I would not have bought in the figure. That That's how much I don't like this head. Um, but he does come with this head as well, um, which is much more like the, uh, 
animated series. Um, not quite perfect. Um, like if they did another one with a more animated head, I'd probably pick it up. Uh, but it's got the tongue out. Uh, it's got a nice little gloss finish on the tongue. Um, I love the green with the wash that they've done on it. Uh, so it all looks, it doesn't just look like bare green plastic. It looks like uh, reptile skin. Um, so that's good. I like that. Um, he does have this big tail. Um, this just plugs on. Um, and then it's just one big bendy wire. Um, not my exact choice of how I would like to do things. Uh, bendy wire stuff just doesn't seem to last forever. Um, so I would have preferred if it was hard plastic with like joints, but that also would have raised the price, which I mean, again, I would have been happy to pay, you know, 50, 60 bucks for this guy. Um, if he had like a plastic, hard plastic jointed tail, that would have been pretty cool looking. Uh, but we're going to take that off for just a moment. Uh, when it's plugged in, it just swivels side to side, and then you can kind of bend the tail wherever you need to. Head is on. Um, so it's got a... I think it's a ball joint from the torso to the neck, and then a hinge uh, for, on the neck to this ball joint, which goes onto the ball joint of the head. So you got you know all the way up to there all the way down to there uh left right um side to side i mean this this guy can do it all i mean he is a very well articulated and it's very well tolerance to head too uh shoulders rotate around uh out to the side just like that uh bicep swivel he has double bend elbow uh, it's not the cleanest look elbow, um, but like here, for example, like you can see like they sculpted in the um, the actual joint in between. So that's pretty good. Uh, wrist hinges in and out, swivels around. Uh, like I said, you've got the different hands so you can kind of get the ones that you want on him. Uh, torso up here is on a ball joint, so you get the range of motion there. And then he does have a hinge in the body. All that works pretty well. Uh, legs up to there, back to there, out to the side, thigh swivel, double bend knee. Um, not Again, not the prettiest looking knee, but it works. Uh, and then he has, let's see, swivel right at the, uh, where the foot attaches to the pants. I don't know why you'd need that. Um, hinges down, hinges up, swivel side to side. All of that works really well. Um, I would say, you know, if I was going to nitpick, I wish I had a few more hand options. And uh, in particular, I would have loved to have had, like, because um, I know in some com comics and cartoons, he's got more, like, clawed hands, uh, where these are more like uh, gecko hands, where they're more, like, getting ready to, to stick onto a wall. Um, so I'm not a huge fan of the way this hand in particular looks, and the only other option I have is the holding hand. So it's like maybe a fist hand, um, you know, if we're not going to go clawed look. But, I mean, ideally I would have liked a clawed hand. Um, and I would have liked the head to be just a little bit more cartoony um, as opposed to this. Uh, I'm not saying that this is bad by any means, Um but I do like it, and I like this a lot better than the uh, the build a figure lizard that came out a few years back. That was uh, it looked like a T Rex, and it's like that doesn't look like the lizard I remember at all. And I also don't want to, have to buy a whole fucking wave to get it. Uh, all right, so here he is with a Spider Man, uh, Marvel Legends Spider Man. So you can see how well he stacks up there. So he's a little bit taller, uh, a little bit wider. Um, all of that uh, is accurate. Um, this is this is the lizard I remember 
uh, from the cartoon and the early comics. You know, this is this is the you know he he wasn't always just a big hulking brute. Um, you know, he was he was a little bit bigger than Spider Man, um, and his biggest threat was the fact that he was smarter than Spider Man because he is a scientist, and also. Um, it's not just because he's a scientist, but he just was smarter than Spider-Man. Spider-Man would go to him for advice, but he's also stronger, faster, uh, and that tail gives him a huge benefit. And he also crawl on walls, just like Spider-Man. He was, he was a great villain for Spider-Man. You know, then later on they made him bigger and meaner and, and nastier and all that stuff. But I do like the way he looks here. Um, uh, I am pretty happy with it. Uh, like I said, I wish I had a few different hand options and a more cartoon accurate head outside of that. Um, I think it's a pretty good figure. Uh, I, but the way it was released was also really crappy. Uh, they, if they should, I don't think they should do figures <laughs> that are like Walmart exclusive and released the way that it was. I, I don't think so. Uh, I really don't think they should do that. They should be doing, you know, like, you know, or like the re other retro deluxe figures are available anywhere online, essentially. You can go order them on BBTS or Chosen Prime or Walmart.com. Like, maybe not have them in stores, but have them av or available to order. Uh, or at least through Hasbro Pulse. Uh, I don't know if it was available there or not, but... You know, it's just annoying to sit there and be like, oh, I have to rely on Walmart to get this figure. And Walmart is just an awful place to shop. So, <laughs> just I hate Walmart so much. I have to go there today. Uh, but anyway, um, I, I, I don't like that at all. So, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 primarily because of that. He loses 2 points because of Walmart and 1 one point because I just wish he had a little bit more uh, more hands, more accessories. Um, and, and while I know you know there's not much they can do about the the tail thing, you know, without increasing the cost a lot, I do still wish we had a better tail than this. Um, these, you know, especially as thick as it is, it kind of makes it just kind of very stoic, but it does help him stand quite a bit. So. So I can't fault it there. Anyway, I guess that's all I got with him. Uh, it's a good figure. I do recommend him uh, if you can get him for a good price. Um, I wouldn't go too crazy, but uh, you know, it also kind of depends on how much you like the lizard. Uh, he's one of my more favorite Spider-Man villains. So, so yeah, I'm totally down with spending a little bit of money on him. So, so yeah, I guess that's all I got.